like everywhere else, we've been challenged. Um, there's no doubt about that. I think uh, we've responded reasonably well. Certainly at the business level, we've responded very well, I think. Um, and, you know, Irish businesses are resilient. We've, we've been used to working from an island way before there was internet, etc. So, you know, we've had to, we've had to uh, overcome those kind of hurdles before. Um, and I think, you know, internationally, a lot of the, the business that's done out of here is tech or tech-based. So um, I think we've done we've done relatively well. I think the challenge we've had more than the pandemic has been kind of the, the worry leading up to, to Brexit. And, you know, uh, for Irish based businesses that do a lot of business with the UK, um, that was that was a worry and how that was going to pan out. And it's panned out just fine. You know, it's 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 um, there have been challenges, but I think uh, businesses have overcome it for businesses like ourselves you know the fact that we're, we're Irish based is is irrelevant um, you know we're live in 50 countries around the world so um, we're you know New Zealand and, and uh, Hong Kong and the United States and Canada and Colombia and everywhere in between is, is is just as relevant from our perspective and um, you know people were forced to do a lot more thinking about how they access services and, and remotely uh, was, was the order of the day. So that sort of played into our, into our space very, very well. And, um, you know, as you can see from the, the reaction to this, uh, as we come out of, of the pandemic, people are starting to realise that there are choices about, you know, the proximity you have to uh, office and, uh, you know, when that's relevant and, and um, won't be forced uh, they know they've done their job more than adequately over the last uh, 15, 16 months. So won't be forced to uh, or bullied into going back to the old norm. Um, and, and that's a good thing. You know, that's a good thing. I think it's a great thing for lots and lots of perspectives. It's a great thing for people's uh, lifestyles and the, the, the work-life balance type thing. Um, yes, there are times when, you, you know, you need to be in the office. I feel it myself when, Things like workshops, etc. From our perspective, when we're advancing our, our service capability and we're looking at, at new things uh, to offer, um, that's a time when you when you really do benefit from being in a room, saying silly stuff, and tolerating each other, and you know, coming out with coming out with all sorts of nonsense that, that ultimately leads to somewhere. Um, uh, so I'm sure there are instances of that in lots of places, and there are jobs where proximity is very important. But by and large, I think we've seen that that choice has come in, and it's driven out a huge, huge range of communications channel choices. Um, and and, and uh, I, I, I think never, uh, one of the things I've, I've always said is that those who make it easiest to do business are the ones who will do most business. And uh, you know, this is really, really going to test the battle there. I think those who, who respond, um, that starts with giving customers choice from the moment they think about getting in touch with you. Uh, so, you know, having all the channels and having all the functionality and being able to mix self-service with agent-based to straight through to experts, whether it be, you know, in the medical world, the, the, the healthcare world into psychologists, etc., or whether it be in the banking world straight through to private banking experts or whatever it should be, manufacturing, any of those things, be able to mix those three things across all the channels and um, have the full functionality and making sure from a business perspective, the vital part is that you have all the data in one place so that we can then show the customer that we actually do know you and they were not just deploying that intelligence for our benefit, but it's for your benefit and convenience as well. So um, that's kind of the ethos that we're, we've been working on. And this has kind of forced that into center stage, Peter, um, you know, beautifully from our perspective. Um, obviously, the, the pandemic has been, a, has been a, a, a challenge and been a horrible experience for all of us. But if you look at what it has driven out in a business context, that to me is the kernel of it. And it goes back to those who make it easiest to do business will do the most business.